grayscale vision, which gives me better night vision. I can see longer distances. I can detect camouflages more easily. I didn't want to change my sight. I wanted to see in grayscale, but I wanted to have a new sense of color. And that's why I developed an antenna that now allows me to sense color independently from my sight. I created this antenna with friends in 2003 when I was at university. So 15 years ago, I started creating this antenna. It was hard to find a doctor willing to implant the antenna inside my head because they said it was not ethical to have a new organ or a new sense implanted in my body. So in the end, I found a doctor willing to do the surgery, but he remains anonymous because bioethical committees didn't find it ethical to add this antenna. It took two months for the antenna and my skull to merge. So this is now part of my skeleton. So I'm officially taller as well because this is part of my body. I'm not wearing an antenna. I have an antenna in the same way that I'm not wearing a nose. I have a nose. Well, in 2004, I had a, a problem with the UK government because they didn't allow me to renew my passport because they said there was an electronic device on my passport photo. But I replied saying that this is not an electronic device. This is an organ, an extension of my senses, an extension of my body. So it should be considered a body part, not a device. In the end, they accepted this and they allowed me to appear in the passport with the antenna. The antenna picks up the light frequencies in front of me and it sends the vibration of color inside my skull. When the vibration enters my skull, it vibrates my skull. So I then hear the vibrations through different notes. So each color has a different note and it includes infrared and ultraviolet. So it goes beyond the visual spectrum. Then there's another implant, which is internet connection that allows me to receive colors from other parts of the world. There's five people that have permission to send colors to my head. If they send colors now, I might suddenly be sensing colors from Japan or from Australia. Or if they send colors when I'm sleeping, my friends can color my dreams or they can alter my dreams. So if they start sending yellow colors when I'm sleeping, my dream might suddenly become yellow or a lemon might appear in my dreams. So how does it feel to be the world's first cyborg? To me, identifying as a cyborg is identifying yourself as being technology. I feel that I am technology. For that, you don't need to have any implants. You might identify as being technology without having any sort of implants. I like to compare myself with, myself with other species. So there's many species that can sense infrared and ultraviolet. There's many species that can sense uh, also through bone conduction, like dolphins can sense through bone conduction. Uh, there's many species that have antennas. So now I'm gonna have a new sensory organ in my body. It's uh, gonna be an inner crown that will allow me to feel the pass of time inside my head. So it will be a point of heat that will take 24 hours to do the complete circle. So I will feel the rotation of the earth in my head and this will allow me to have an organ for the sense of time. For thousands of years, our species has been changing the planet and we've been designing the planet in order to be more comfortable in this planet. And I think this is going to start changing. In the next decades, we'll see how people will start designing themselves in order to be able to be more comfortable in this planet. And I think this is ethical, much more ethical than designing the planet. If we all have night vision, uh, we wouldn't have to change the, the light of the planet. Uh, at night, cities would be dark and we would be able to see if we all had night vision. So this would be much better for the environment and for the planet and for our other species. So blue sounds C sharp and orange sounds F sharp. So these are very different frequencies of light that sound very differently. So green sounds A, which is a very neutral sound because it's in the middle of the spectrum. So it's not a high pitch note or a low pitch note, it's in the middle. And the sky is C sharp today. And what are the colors of Dubai? In Dubai, I sense a shade of yellow and a shade of turquoise and also some points of ultraviolet.